Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Dank Dungeons. Me and some of my friends over here will be playing some short sessions of the Dungeon World RPG with you today. We hope it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you laugh at some of our jokes. And if you don't, I mean, we can't win them all. But uh, yeah, join us. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Twitter. We're going to have all those things going on. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our adventurers. Uh, hi, I'm Lizzie. I'm playing Batania, who is a human wizard. Um, she's pretty smart, but being smart isn't cool, so she pretends like she's not at all. Um, and yeah. Uh, so I'm you're Lance. Up, man. You're up. What? You're I'm up. up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Lance. I'm playing Todd, who is an elven ranger. Uh, he was, uh, you know, from a pretty uncool place. He kind of did a lot of farming and hunting and whatnot, all that kind of rangery stuff. And he fell asleep on a wagon and ended up where he is now. And we'll, we'll see where he goes. And I am Davis, and I'm playing Dula Wula Fula, who is a lizard pyromancer. Forgot about that stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> who happens to be a pyromancer who uh, worships the god of fire, also known Shocking. as Victorious Big Ignite God. <laughs> um, and he doesn't like teenagers. He likes to burn teenagers. Because <laughs> teenagers are the worst. That's his key character trait. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Just burning teenagers. What he wants to do is to <laughs> enter an area, locate any teenagers in the nearby, and then burn them. I think that's kind of... What a hero. <laughs> yeah. I think that's kind of what we all want, Ooh, secretly. So uh, tell me, uh, what is... Uh, Excuse me, what was your name Dula one more time? Dula Wula Fula. Dula Wula I just need to, rem I just Dula need to Dula. remember what kind of spell that. How do you spell that? Uh, how it sounds? What is Dula Wula Fula's favorite word? <laughs> um, some teenager calf? I kind of saw that one Slow coming. roast that? Uh, the, over some fire? The, the ranger over here, Mr. Todd. Yeah. Uh, what would you say Todd's favorite horror movie franchise is? Oh, <clears throat> he really likes, if I had to pick one, not Saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not that's Saw. That's a good answer. <clears throat> and finally, uh, Batania. Yeah. Batania, that's a very that's interesting name. Um, what is Batania's favorite Puddle of Mud song? Oh my god. I mean, she would never admit to liking Puddle of Mud because it's just, would. Uh, <laughs> she's really more of a neutral milk hotel girl on the surface. <laughs> but secretly, it's Spice Girls. It's, it's got to Spice be. Girls it's is her favorite Puddle of Mud song. Wannabe. Wait, 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 wait. What is her favorite? Wait, 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 wait. She doesn't what is know. I don't know. Spice wait, can we okay, I actually don't know any Puddle of Mud songs. That's so. fine because neither do I. I was and neither does Batania, so there we go. Are you looking for that works. recommendation? Which of the Spice Girls <laughs> is her favorite spice? Definitely. Definitely. So um, I, I think every fun. time we play, we're going to be doing these in uh, hour-long episodes, and I think every time we play, I'm going to be asking all of you a question about your characters along those lines. Um, I hate to put you on the spot, except I really want to put you on the spot and to help you flesh out um, who your character is as a person. Which, I mean, obviously, one of the most important things to know about anybody is what their favorite puddle of mud song is. Yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, without further ado, it's let's usually. introduce what our adventure is. Um, this adventure is taking place in a broken land, a land in a post-apocalyptic post post setting. Um, not the kind of post-apocalypse you would expect, like a Mad Max sort of thing or uh, like a zombie apocalypse, but an apocalypse that resulted from a party that got way too real. In this world, the god who was worshipped by the vast majority of the people was a god known as Wick. That's spelled W-K, for anybody who's curious. <laughs> One day, a high priest Andrew of Wick threw the biggest party of all time, a party so big that it shattered the very fabric of reality, leaving a great rift carved into the land. And this rift began to siphon the coolness from the world bit by bit. As a result, this world is slowly dying. Everything cool and rad is going to eventually be swallowed up by this rift. So everything near that rift is super lame. It's where most of the old people live. Nobody, there's no rap music. Nobody has any fun. But the further out you get, 
the crazier things become. And it is in this area, the Radlands, as people... <laughs> Yeah, everybody get, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me your reaction. It's to pretty, to it's the amazing pretty, name. It's pretty good. <laughs> it works. <laughs> the Radlands is where most of your adventuring is going to be taking place because people will go out into the Radlands and brave all these dangers and uh, things in hopes that they can find something to save this ailing world. And that is where your characters come in. You are embarking on a journey to recover artifacts believed to belong to the god Wick himself in the hopes that their latent party power can heal that rift. Where you have ended up now is just outside the Valley of the Temple of the Terrible Lizards that Time Forgot, mm. a, an area known for dinosaurs and other such perils. You stand now at the base of the massive plateau upon which the valley sits. So you have to go way up and then you have to go way down. God. <laughs> Love going up and down. Rumors abound that goblins from the nearby goblin technocracy of Zork, this technocracy, technocracy, their government is based off of technology, uh, have come to this place and begin to do research on the inhabitants here. Um, this is also a place where an ancient civilization once existed, but they've long been extinct. Um, the regular dinosaurs are still alive. Just not like the Dinotopia style cool dinosaurs, they're all dead. Oh, they didn't yeah. make it. Yeah. <laughs> so. The three of you stand at the base of the plateau. You are on the south side where two huge waterfalls cascade down from above. Beautiful. You wonder to yourselves, how did these waterfalls go down? Or how did these waterfalls get to the top of the plateau to fall off? Water doesn't flow that way. But you quickly push these thoughts out of your heads and begin to decide how you might scale these walls. Hmm. That's your cue to decide how to scale the walls. Oh boy. <laughs> what, a gr what a great way to start. You couldn't put us at the top. No. Bottom. <laughs> oh. What are you going to do? Got to get up there one way or another. Hey, guys. How are we going to get up this huge wall? You're the dude with the wolf. So yeah, I, I have a wolf. You'd, you'd know <laughs> some the other things. The perfect climbing tool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you seem badass enough to kind of So I think what we're going to have to do. Keyword being seen. Is tie the wolf to your back. Uh-huh. And then you're just gonna have to climb it normally, and then we're just gonna climb it normally right. as well. We can't like hitch ourselves together on some sort of rope monkey chain. That sounds stupid. There are no bad ideas in brainstorming, Davis. Uh, well, I think there are, because that was one. Well, we got it out of the way, didn't we? Uh, I don't seem to have any sort of I don't know, climbing is there, gear. Is there a spot on those sheets for like a, for like a adventuring equipment of that is, sort? There is of spot starting for gear. Yeah. So um, I mean, there's adventuring gear. You adventuring gear would have rope in it. Yeah. Sure. You need rope on adventures. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> Why not? Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll start tying the wolf to your back. I'm gonna need this wolf tied to my back. So. <laughs> All right. All right. So I, make I mean, me, unless make me a roll here. I'm gonna say. Uh, See, how do, how do we determine if you're good at tying knots That's or not? dexterity. I'd <laughs> say dexterity. Yeah, yeah you tie a nice dexterous knot. You know what? I think it's intelligence. Oh, I think it's intelligence. Ooh. Maybe I can tie it to my own body. Do you think that because that's a high stat for you or because yes. you really think it? But I also really think it. Okay. I'm going to make a dexterity. You're going to make a dexterity. <laughs> it's it's going to be dexterity. Uh, I need a 2d6. Roll it 2D6. up. 2d6. Yeah, 2d6. There, are, di there are dice everywhere. And add your uh, dexterity to that, I yeah. got a five. What'd you get, you got a five? I got a five. Oh, you tied that wolf real good, huh? <laughs> Wolf's tied to your back, looks great. Great. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna do a little swing around and see. Oh yeah, Make super, sure. super stable. <laughs> yeah. e EP's not going anywhere, huh? No. <laughs> EP is the wolf's name, by the way. I think I have to find a new wolf when we get to the top. Oh, we'll see. I don't want to. <laughs> Let the adventure begin. All right. Right. Start climbing, guys. Start, start climbing. I'm climbing up. I'm going to allow you to climb with either your strength or your dexterity. Oh, so we just make it. So you have a wolf, <laughs> and you have. No, roll those dice. Oh, okay. Oh. Right. Strength or dexterity. Well, I'm pretty strong. You can strong, climb so. with brute force, or you can climb with, like, I don't know, like, I'm climbing with acrobatics or something. That's not so bad. I'm climbing with strength. I'm climbing with dexterity. I failed which, my climb. Which makes a little bit less of sense considering I have a wolf strapped to my back. <laughs> I got a four. You got a four? Mm -hmm. I have a, I got a 10. So. You got a 10. I got an 11. 11. Mm -hmm. right, you two are golden. I have a wolf strapped to me. <laughs> I have you nothing. You to climb with so much skill that the moment EP, your wolf, 
the moment he starts slipping off your back from the terrible knot that... <laughs> Doola do Woola Wool. <laughs> I'm never going to get that. You know? Just call me Doola or Woola okay, or Fula. Woolly Fula. Woolly. I'm going the with Fula. The terrible knot that Fula, <laughs> yeah, in this case, yeah, <laughs> that Fula tied, you, you managed to, to grab that rope as, as your wolf falls and with heroic effort it's like one of those situations where like a woman has to lift a car to save her baby. Right. It's one of those things you get this adrenaline. So I'm climbing with one hand yeah, and you're holding. Like, oh, I gotta <laughs> wow. save my wolf. I didn't know Todd was gonna be so cool. And you get to the top. <laughs> you don't. I got a four. <laughs> you're clinging to the wall about halfway up. Oh no. And you're getting terrible vertigo. <laughs> How do you guys want to handle this situation? <laughs> The idiot of the party is stuck. <laughs> I, I'm technically the smartest. He's right. Not by example, but... <laughs> not by example. <laughs> not by example. Uh, but by how ability about, to burn teenagers. <laughs> how about... Uh, hasn't come how much yet. more do we have to go? Yeah, he's about halfway up. And you, guys, and made, up. you guys are good. You, were, you, you sped ahead of him. Do, uh, oh, you yeah. know, it's, a good, it's a good long climb. But. I'm gonna... How long would you say, being the dank master, uh, <laughs> Are we How? actually going with that? Absolutely. Apparently. All right. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> Is there any other choice? Uh, it got said. It did got said. Um, how, how, long, how long is our ropes? How long is your ropes? <laughs> how long is our ropes? How, how long <laughs> is our ropes? <laughs> I'm going to go with the old standard of like a 50-foot rope. Okay. Ooh. Is he 50 foot down? <laughs> or 100 foot down? <laughs> So here's, well, we have all three ropes. Here's where I have that binary have, choice of I can say no and make things really <laughs> difficult for you. I can say yes and just make things go smoothly. Yeah. Which one will he say? Since helping him climb up the wall is probably the least exciting peril we could have right now, <laughs> I'm going to say yeah. You I don't know. I think all right. fill the whole hour. So, <laughs> so get Dula up the wall. So let's get him up the wall with the rope. Sounds what good. a journey. Great. Maybe I make a strength of some sort to yeah. pull him up yeah, there. Yank him you want to so, double up on so that? Scared. You can help me. Sure, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna grab we the rope, up. both of us. Do you, do you grab, grab the rope? Do you grab the rope? Yes. Okay, he grabs <laughs> the rope. That yeah. would have been. I'll good. try so hard not to burn it. No wasteful. Okay, so we're going with strength. Yeah. Uh, I got a five. You got a five. I also got a five. Terrific. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely terrific. <laughs> we tried, but not a lot. Strength modifier. Yeah, th th it's none. There is no strength modifier. Oh. It is zero, but it's not negative, so it's fun. Between the two of you, yeah, we you can pull Duel up to the top. <laughs> All right. But I'm you could have bashed so. his face yeah. against the wall a few times on the way up. I mean, sacrifices <laughs> need to be made. He takes two points of damage, but you're, you know, you're alive, and you're up at the top of the plateau. Gazing down the lip of this uh, now valley, mm -hmm. um, you can see a steep descent uh, down into the valley proper from where you are right now. The one that you should be able to make without too much trouble. Uh, below you, you can see uh, some several little small building ruins kind of peppered throughout the landscape, um, as well as to the northeast, a large jungle. Um, in the center of the valley appears to be a gigantic ziggurat. Of Whoa. some kind. I haven't heard I that like word in, ziggurat. in a long yeah. time. Yeah, it's a I'm good glad one. you got to use it's it. It's way more interesting than Pyramid. <laughs> to the northwest, you see a series of hilly plains which gives way to a volcanic wasteland at the center of which sits a huge volcano. Wow, I thought you were going to say ziggurat again. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of <laughs> hope you're standing. <laughs> so I'm glad you said that. You're standing it's between the, these, the two waterfalls you saw as you were uh, down at the bottom, mm -hmm. um, and a river runs through it. I don't see, I drew this map, and now I realize this doesn't make any sense because these things have to flow up the river, mm -hmm. but they also have to be flowing down into the valley at but the same time. It doesn't I don't have to know make if sense. Rad, I, mean, I, guess I don't right. know if any of it makes I, any I mean, sense. I guess it doesn't have to make sense. It's the Radlands. Yeah, yeah, Whatever you say. Is. Water just goes wherever it wants. Because it's super You're not rad. the boss of water. You're the boss of water. I'm the boss of water. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the rivers uh, go down into the valley and empty into two large lakes, one in the far northeast corner. Um, and one kind of more near the center, near the ziggurat. Um, and there are some large marshy swamplands between these two lakes as well. We got a little bit of everything. So uh, start wherever you like. I, g I gotta bring up the ziggurat. I guys. was thinking the same thing. You know thing. what? I think we should just call it a pyramid. <sighs> I like ziggurat. <laughs> <laughs> I 
the valley is many, many miles wide um, in both directions. Uh -huh. So, so traveling to any one of these places will take you a bit of time. It's not Let's check out like that. Let's check out that pyramid. Okay. I'm gonna put my foot down in this hole. Right ziggurat, down, yeah. Follow the river yeah. down towards the ziggurat. <laughs> yeah. All right, sounds good. So we, we uh, all got a ziggurat in. Uh, <laughs> you guys have to embark on a journey now. Um, you all have uh, rations marked somewhere on your sheet. I believe so. Yeah. Um, I had the option to. Ooh, I did also and didn't. I needed arrows. Terrific. Well, you're no, I to took fun. rations. How many rations you got? I took rations instead of uh, the, the healing potion. I have five. I have five rations. Would you like to share your rations with the people who saved your life? They're gonna have to convince me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have five rations, so I'm doing okay. You also have five rations. I do. Okay, so Todd, Todd and has to convince me. And EP have no that, rations. I saved your life, and you almost killed my wolf. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you saved your wolf, so I didn't almost kill your wolf. I didn't almost do anything. Yeah, I saved my wolf. Exactly. The you wolf put his wolf in die. a compromising situation. The wolf was fine, though. I'll, so take, I'll, take, some I'll take some rations, please. I'll give you one ration. That's fine. Yeah, but you owe me a ration. I'm writing it down. We'll see if we keep track of this. I'm keeping track of these rations, because you seem like the kind of person who does not pay back rations. You, so, you got it. <laughs> when undertaking a perilous journey, one of you must act as a trailblazer, one of you must act as a scout, and one of you must act as the quartermaster. What's a quartermaster? The quartermaster, quartermaster makes sure you don't waste supplies. That's me. So if the quartermaster is successful in the role, you're all going to have to make a wisdom roll here. It's wisdom for everybody. Fantastic. Um, if the quartermaster is successful, they reduce the number of rations required for this journey by one. Which would make it free because I was only going to have this cost one anyway. All right. Uh, the trailblazer reduces the amount of time it takes you to reach your destination, and the scout will spot any trouble quick enough. And it's all, the these are all wisdom. These are all wisdom. So it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. I think you have a bonus though, right? No, I mean not really. Unless I mean, if any of you have a wisdom bonus, then then uh, you can put that person in. The oh game yeah. No. You feel as much. Oh. Well. You just automatically mm -hmm. succeed, don't you? Oh yeah. Uh, no. Would you consider, because I'm an elf, when I undertake a perilous journey through a wilderness, whatever job I take, I succeed as if though I rolled oh. a 10 plus. Oh! Yeah. All right. Yeah. So who do you want to so be? So, uh, so, uh, <laughs> so, let's see. The power of being an elf. Safest, fastest, so or most scout. Let's, find let's do danger. fastest. Okay. So that's Trailblazer. So, so, trailblazer. so he's going to be Trailblazer. <laughs> trailblazer. Can trail. anybody in the party say Trailblazer? <laughs> Trail. I didn't even try. Trailblazers. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. Trailblazers. Trailblazer. Trailblazer. <laughs> I'm the trailblazer. <laughs> I'm here to blaze the twail. <laughs> I think I'm developing character traits so here. So I think... Twaits. <laughs> twaits. Yeah, I like the twaits. So I guess that makes me the scout, because you called <laughs> dibs. Oh, no. Master. And of course, this is playground rules, so... Yeah. Yeah. Called dip, so I guess we'll just start rolling some dice. Everybody roll your dice. Okay. Yeah. See what happens. Roll the dice. There's plenty of dice just laying all over the table. Just grab some. I, I don't got... have to roll anything. You don't know nope. enough. Of That's oh, right. No. I got an eight. An eight? I got an eight. I got a six. Oh, you're not going to be happy about that. Oh, great. Oh, I'm going to so I'm going to starve. I gave you rations. You gave me a ration. Yeah. So everybody, everybody eats. Everybody eats a ration. <laughs> right now? Yeah. Yeah. Mark a ration down. You're on a journey. I'm gonna kill an animal and eat it. I'll give that you a ration. An that has to be an option. I already gave him a ration. Yeah, but it's I'll totally give him another an ration because he's but, eating a but ration. But I can, but I can, get more rations. Yeah, but I'm really nice. Yeah. Are you really nice? Or in this, I am. To be in, nice? I'm actually pretending to be nice. Because it's a game. You know, I really don't know if you're pretending to be nice, or you're actually well, pretending, I to was. Be, pretending to be nice. <laughs> I was pretending to be nice. As you proceed down into the valley. You reach the river. Um, you rolled a seven? Eight. An eight. Okay, still, same, same result mm -hmm. that roll you would have before. As a result, as you are passing by the river, you notice a pair of bulbous, frog-like eyes sticking out of the surface of the water, watching you pass. Uh-oh. Yo, dog, there's a frog in that river. You sure it's a frog <laughs> or it's frog-like? You know what? That seems like a stupid question. Are you, do you think are you, are are you nervous a about a frog? There's a frog-like frog -like frog thing in the eyes. river. I mean, I actually don't care, he but... Is a, he is a lizard man. Oh, then he would know. I guess. Isn't that Not a little bit amphibian. racist? It's a little bit specific. Yeah, but my character's, um, my character's racist. 
Surprise I'm character. I'm a reptilian American. Okay. <laughs> I am was not a, a lizard surprise man. Surprise character trait. Was the <laughs> racism, surprise <though>. character trait. <laughs> Um, no, we're not doing that one. No, we're not. That's not gonna stick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a there's something in the river giving us the good old st stinky eye, evil eye. He's taking. He's looking at us. It's okay. He let's just uh, bite, let's maybe. just be aware of it, and maybe we can just yeah. I'm gonna watch it. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch it as we walk. Well, thank you for mentioning it. Yeah. And uh, I I respect you. Yeah. And maybe um, <laughs> you respect me. Yeah. What is this revisionist history going on? Here? Okay. Wow. Backpedal for Thank you. <laughs> Spread the love. Um, <laughs> you proceed down the riverbank, keeping I an eye you. on the eyes. Mm -hmm. As you do so, several more pairs of frog like eyes oh boy. begin All right. to surface and follow you downstream. Hey, maybe we should or consider upstream. having our weapons. I don't know strong. which direction the stream goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, They're going in some sort of stream. So uh, let's take a few steps away from the stream, and maybe just like you know, like we all notice it at this yeah. point. Maybe right? like okay. a good fifty yeah. yards. I'm gonna and just like keep going, following it, but just stay like fifty yards from it, and I'm gonna try and activate my fire weapon. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take out my short sword. Just yeah, you know, just to have it. I have to roll to activate my fire Be weapon. Safe. See if it Fine. actually activates or not. Oh yeah. He's like, yeah. Didn't work, guys. How's that going for you? I got a 10. You got a 10? Yeah, you're yeah. good. You got a fire weapon. What kind of weapon is your fire weapon? Um, I'm a fire weapon. I get to choose what kind of fire what weapon is it? Like my a fire sword, a whip, is. an axe, a hammer. So, it's, a um, it's gonna be a sword. Okay. It gets plus one damage. Good old reliable. Um, it's no longer dangerous. And I can throw it. <laughs> cool. Wow. Throwable yeah. flame sword. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's a good choice. So, Throwable. Uh, you cut off of the river, kind of into the jungle area, to to avoid the frogs. Uh oh. Mm. And before long, hear a loud crashing sound coming through the trees towards you. What do you do? Coming from the direction of the direction you're going. Okay. Coming from the direction we're going. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like? It's like yeah, it's in front of you. Is there, is there any big rocks? The direction nearby? you're going. No, you're in the jungle. Uh, big trees, not big rock. I, I want to try and take cover behind them with some big trees. <laughs> some big trees. Does it sound like trees are breaking? That's what yes. I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, it no, it sounds like trees aren't. I'm going to try and... Uh, I guess square uh, up gonna, the sound. It's coming from in front of us? Yes. I'm going to try and run to the side and like hide behind a tree. Oh. Yeah, that's what I mean. All right. Yeah, like, yeah. everybody who's all the trees, Not just one of the ones in front of you. No, it's going to be like, oh, it's going to break down the tree in front of me. Better hide behind it. All right. Well, roll me a defy danger roll We're using your dexterity. Fantastic. Defy this danger and oh, get into a safe spot in time. Not bad. Ten. I got an 11. I got a seven. <laughs> hey, you barely did it. You I did. defied it a little bit. You defied the danger a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. What even happens when you only defy danger a little bit? What'd you get? I don't Might know. not be great. You guys are fine. Mm. You get behind those trees like pros. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. So uh, where well, you, you been? You uh, you stumble a bit trying to get behind these trees. <laughs> My ankle. So uh, I get to offer My you glasses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Can't see without my glasses. I'm gonna offer you. Uh, my do you have a, uh, a poor outcome to this whole situation? Uh, I would love to. Or, or would you like to uh, have to make an ugly choice? I would like to have to make an ugly choice. All right. Yes. No, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, that would have taken me a minute. <laughs> you can either remain in the path of whatever is coming. Uh huh. Or throw Dula into your, in your place <laughs> and jump into his hiding spot. Oh gosh, I really want to throw you, but she's good. So I'm gonna make out. an I'm ugly decision. Fall. I'm gonna focus on tor turning you all against each other. So I think that's what this is gonna turn. I'm gonna. Into. Yeah, I'm that's gonna not gonna happen. We're gonna be best friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in the path of the thing. Okay. Bring it. You've made your choice. So bring it on. Bursting through the trees comes a huge reptilian creature. Giant humanoid legs. Unshaven people. humanoid legs. <laughs> Maybe stick out of its small. back at odd angles. Ooh. It also has tiny humanoid legs for teeth in its what? mouth. And more humanoid legs as legs. You're just making this stuff up. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's all made up. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like this dungeon world. Like dinosaur. Dinosaur. That was it's a joke. Like Keep dinosaur. going. You might say it's a 
Legosaurus. Is this the Legosaurus Rex? No, like a Stegosaurus. No, I know. <gasps> it's like a Stegosaurus, but with legs. I got, I got you. I'm just got to that. explain every joke. Just got that. <laughs> so the Legosaurus comes crashing through the trees, <laughs> kicking them over as it goes. And I'm sorry, in my description of the Legosaurus, I, I, you, you're staying in the path of it, correct? Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm going to so get, get kicked. You get kicked hard. Yeah, I'm going to look at Fula and be like, that's crazy, that <laughs> thing. What is that Dude. thing? <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It didn't hurt. I'm still cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> that well, was you're going to so get hurt. Crazy. It's, it's, I'm still one of the guys. You're I'm still one of the guys. You're going to get hurt. It's okay. You, you, you took six damage. You get kicked into a tree and you take six damage. Okay, that's fine. That's and the Legosaurus proceeds on its way. No big. Yeah. You were just in the way. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm going to have a cool scar after and this. And like some kind of hero, you decided to stay there instead of just throwing the party liability in front of it. <laughs> yep. Why am I a liability? Because you almost got his wolf killed. And you were late. The you wolf was fine. You gotta make up. <laughs> yeah, the wolf was fine. Almost wasn't. <laughs> almost wasn't, though. <laughs> but it was fine in the end. So, you all continue on your way. Uh, and shortly arrive at the base of the ziggurat without further danger. Yo, I'm gonna take See a several look. flying creatures circling in the distance. Hear some more crashing sounds in the woods around you, but it doesn't seem like you're in any immediate danger here. Does it look like there's an entrance? Um, yes. Let me go ahead and describe it. Look at the ziggurat uh, stands, <laughs> I believe, I have, a, I have some size dimensions for you here. That's my favorite dimension, mm. is the size dimension. Yeah. <laughs> the ziggurat <laughs> is 500 feet to a side, mm -hmm. um, and it spans upwards about the same distance. There is a stairway in the center of it, taking you to the topmost level. And flanking the stairs on the bottom level where you are are two large stone doors that appear that it appear as though they have not been open in quite some time. Ooh. Yeah, is that river nearby still? Um the river is a short distance away. Okay, cool. Um through the trees to the west. All right. What are you thinking? Those doors no, look pretty I menacing. I was scared that maybe the frog things were going to come Getting some yeah. menacing vibes. Maybe very rude getting some way. menacing vibes. Okay. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do with the cigarette? We could, uh... Yeah, I'm going to open those doors. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just going to go for it? Yeah. You're just going to go for it? I'm going right. to open those doors. I'm going to say, hey, guys, I'm going to open those doors. I go. Maybe, uh, but... maybe a strength roll. It seems like they, you got to lift these things. I feel like you should knock first. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Good, you're welcome. Good point. Okay. Um, Politeness counts. For I mean, something. do what you want to do, but like you really are a good character. You're from that place with no rap music, right? But I'm also from that place. Yeah, but everybody you got a dope started. Wolf. I got a dope everybody wolf. Everyone started from such uncool origins, except for Dula. I've I mean, heard. I've heard people. A fire lizard <coughs> man from <laughs> the, the house store. party. Remember? Yeah, the house party. That's right. <laughs> Nobody so knows about the house party. We get into your backstory later. I got it too. <laughs> Great. You don't do anything. <laughs> How about we check out the stairs then? It yeah. seems like less effort. No one has to lift any. In stairs. a strange <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and lift those stairs. Does it look? Does it look really hard for him while he's doing it? <laughs> I mean, he can't do it, so he yeah, must be no, really he looks, struggling. He looks super dumb while he's doing. It. Yeah. <laughs> Is he like? He's like grunting and almost screaming, crying. Yeah. <laughs> I those goblins he stops and then there's, he throws a little tantrum. This is stupid door won't even open. <laughs> my, wo my wolf is laughing. <laughs> EP. <Dumb idiot. laughs> That's what your character says. <laughs> your wolf is laughing. Yeah. yeah. Well, like kick it. <laughs> wow. My wolf. The door. So the, stair oh. the stairs happening. Not the wolf. Yeah, let's just stairs. go up the yeah, stairs. Those doors look heavy. He's a let's, lizard person. You couldn't you, even do uh, it. you reach the top of the stairs to find a, a large brazier lit with flame. A, a Frandon brazier? <laughs> that was a reach. That was bad. It that was, was a so reach. Good. I, don't, I don't know how I got that. That was a real reach for a job. <laughs> That's okay with me. Keep it in mind for later. Yeah. Um, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you I really lost your train of thought. The total, yeah, you really threw me off with that one. <laughs> there is an inscription in an ancient tongue Ooh. on the brazier. Would any of you like to dis attempt to decipher this I will attempt I do. to do... 
I mean, you three of us just I mean, you, you go ahead. Everyone you go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, make me intelligence rolls. Go for it. I got a. Four, We're counting this five. as spouting lore. <laughs> I got a nine. <laughs> I got a seven. I got a five. Okay. So. Don't look at me. You managed to decipher the words. Yeah. And of find that it more or less says. You don't quite get the full idea. It's a very ancient dialect <laughs> you, of whatever it is you're reading. <laughs> you get uh, the gist of it that says, you must sacrifice what is precious to you to find the path to the treasure. Treasure. Yes. That's what it says on the brazier? Roughly. Uh, it's probably more flowery than that, like it's, it's supposed to be, the but you got kind of like flame. a little. The brazier has flame. I'm gonna put out the flame. Can you just do that? You done? Yeah, I can. Actually, like just one of your flame off. I can manipulate flame. flame. Off. Terrific. On a wisdom roll, the fire goes out. <laughs> do you have any roll uh, wisdom for it? Can't see us now. Since you, oh yeah, you need to make a wisdom yeah, roll. Yeah, I need to make, make a wisdom, wisdom roll. roll. I assume that was just one of those things you could just. Do. Um, I can just. I, I get a seven. Anybody can put out fire. Yeah, I mean it's a big fire. You need a wisdom you roll for that. I, yeah, roll. I get a seven. Okay. Yeah. I mean, in that case, you fail. You're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to be yeah. able to do it, but. At what cost? Yeah. <laughs> An ugly cost. At what cost? At what, what cost? cost? I can't really think choice. of a downside to just putting out a fire. <laughs> yeah. You could get burned. It just, I'm just you like, can't you can't get burned. Well, it's oh, like, yeah. it's a wisdom roll, right? And I love fire. Yeah. yeah I've never put out fire before. <laughs> so you kind of, you get a little freaked out. I get out. really, <laughs> maybe I, I get really depressed. A little freaked out. Yeah, you have a little, little, little panic attack. <laughs> yeah, that works. Like, <laughs> that works. That works. That works. Oh, a little man. panic attack. You need a breather moment. <laughs> yeah. You need a breather moment. <laughs> I just missed um, the next action. <laughs> how does Dula know this mysterious language that you've just deciphered? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 answer the question. Uh, he doesn't even know what it is. He's starting war. No, he does know what it is. That's the thing. It turns out it's something he's seen before. It turns That's out how he knows. He's seen before. How did Dula come across this? Did you, like, learn it in college or, <laughs> or what? His local public library. Do you minor in ancient dinosaur runes? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was on the inside of my fish tank. I didn't guess. The fish tank is the <laughs> open. <laughs> the instruction, like the little warnings of like, yeah. do not overfill. Do not, <laughs> do not, do not, uh, only feed one teenager per day. Not meant for an aquarium setup. Yeah. Um, not sacrifice aquarium something aquarium precious to you. Do not feed you. more than one teenager per day. Yeah. 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 Um, careful, do not reach inside. <laughs> Always wear flame retardant gloves. Yeah. Okay. Caution. Yeah, that's uh, we <laughs> sure. can, we, that's sure. good enough. Good um, enough. Yeah, good we enough. can wing it with that. Douchebag warning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the the fire has gone out. Great. What are you guys gonna do with that? So, <laughs> what did it say? We have to sacrifice. Sacrifice something, something precious. precious to you. I don't have anything. Kill the wolf. I'm not killing the wolf. I thought putting out the fire was precious enough, but I just I just lugged this thing up the side of a. Perhaps, Cliff. perhaps you don't all know what's what's really precious to you yet. Oh, Ooh. we're going to have to learn a lesson. Perhaps what's really precious to you is something you'll find on, along your journey. Is it going to be something inside us this whole time? Like, like friendship? friendship? Yes, like friendship. It might be. Is, is it going to be But then you'll have to burn it. <laughs> oh, God. You really are trying to set us against each other. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to build us up and then break us right, down. I'm going to try and open those doors again. I back down and try to open the door. Yeah, yeah I think. Do you want to do that as like a team effort? Yeah, let's yeah, let's all do that together. I can't do it. I'm having a panic attack. Oh, all right, that's well, right. All right, maybe we we can do it. We can try. <laughs> uh, nope. Uh, I got a three. Oh, I got a nine. All right. Nine's pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. It's better than a you're three. You're gonna try helping too. Or I'm just, having a panic you're attack. Just freaking uh, out up really, at the top there. Really, he's like, sad right now. that. You know, you can always just like at the base of the stairs. How about we just? How about we say that we waited? Until he was have done having it? his conniption. Can you just relight it? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> 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 Took me a minute. That's good. I got a seven. Yay! That's a role play. <laughs> role play. <laughs> so That's a between, total of You guys both 17. got successes. Uh -huh. So between the two of you, I'm going to say you managed to lift it up enough that, uh, that, uh, Todd, can push it. Todd and EP can, can get through uh, there. Yeah, EP's um, and doing the other, stuff. The, uh, you, you two can roll inside, but presumably the door will shut behind you. Awesome. So you may be trapped in there. Cool. 
I mean, you could always lift it again from the inside. We in a dungeon. Yeah, I'm gonna roll up in you there. You might enter a dungeon of some kind. I'm gonna roll up in there. It might be a little bit dank. <laughs> Are you gonna roll in as well? <laughs> I'm gonna roll up in there. The door oh slams God. shut behind in there. you. <laughs> cool. And the yeah. dank air mm. of a dungeon most dank. I'm just gonna title drop a lot right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that might be the only chance we get. The yeah. dankest. The dankest. <laughs> this is it. It's the name of the thing. <laughs> yeah. It sounds so familiar to me, but Truly. I can't place where it's from. <laughs> Truly, we were the dank dungeon all along. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the camera. On a scale from one to ten, I would say this dungeon is dank. This is not going to be interesting to anybody. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> not at all. So oh you boy. stand at the the mouth of a long hallway into the darkness. It's the hallway has a mouth. It, it's figure speech. Is I'll it activate my weapon. It's a literary device. Is it? I activate my weapon so that we have fire. I'm not even going to let me use a cantrip, bro. Okay. How does that shed light? Yeah, yeah. It, it does. You have to actually. Does it shed light as a torch? It, it doesn't. I don't think it sheds light as a torch. Uh, I mean, it could be forever. fire. No, but cantrips not, like, are forever. There you go. A lot of light. Yeah, I mean, cantrips are forever. Light. That's gonna be a t-shirt. <laughs> cantrips <maybe>. are forever. <laughs> Get a cross stitch or a bumper it. So that's like not pitch black. Quit having your little club party over here. What are you doing? Making jokes about cantrips? Yes. Yeah. You two are ridiculous. Oh, I got. We have adventuring gear. I got light. So. Got light. Yeah, I'm a. A wizard. Oh, okay. I'm a wizard. Enjoy Make light. light. Wizard. Yes. All right. Blizzard. Does that light? Does light require a roll, or you just do it? Ah, uh, uh, come on. <laughs> it doesn't require a roll. You just do it. It doesn't really Can say. Can you mess up casting light? It only says you have to roll about spells. I think cantrips. You're just yeah, good. Yeah, probably not. All right. I who mean, cares? Who knows? Who knows? It's a cantrip. You cast light, you mess up, and it's like a really <clears throat> gross fluorescent light. It makes everyone look pink. And it smells bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. God. yeah, and it's like flickers every once in a while. Yeah, it's, it's like really loud. You should be like, yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 it's like, what There's is that? Awesome I, would, I would rather it be dark. Can There's someone change that light bulb? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you have light, courtesy of uh, Betania. Yeah. What kind of light are we talking about? <laughs> Real sad light. Would you come up with that name? It's just, an interesting one. I just made it up. Fans, from my, it came from my. Bethany. You're not gonna ask me where I came up with Todd. <laughs> I mean, it's an elf name. Yeah. What do you want? I mean, it's I on the west here. Forgot about Bethany. So, you forgot. All along the walls. I kept it. All along the walls, are what appear to be sarcophagi. Oh with the yes. Heads of dinosaurs. You know where the head part is. Any human legs. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, are these, like, you know, these Legosauruses? They're not Legosauruses. Okay. <laughs> you only saw the one Legosaurus. Yeah, it was huge, right? Yeah, it was real big. Oh, these are like uh, like human-sized. Mm -hmm. Like some sort of... Uh, Land of the Lost Can I open one? Like some sort of like humanoid dinosaurs. Like Land of the Lost or uh, mm. maybe Dinotopia. Kind of like you. <gasps> like your ancestors. Your people. Right. Oh, yes, my ancestors. <laughs> We're dinosaurs. Yes. Because I'm a salamander. Yes. <laughs> I mean, Probably. closer than, closer than I mean, me. I don't know how evolution works. I'm just <laughs> yeah, not maybe, that part yet. maybe it's the other way. Yeah. I evolved some like some weird lemurs, and you yeah, guys maybe came from maybe there was a, yeah. <laughs> the wolf was a fish. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's a, there's these sarcophagi just lining the walls. Can I open one? They're open. Right? I mean, you can, I mean, you right? Can, you can. Open. Are they not open? There was no, they got lids. Yo. Lids oh, so there's like pictures. I'm gonna activate. Yeah, it's, like, well, it's like an old Egyptian sarcophagus with a oh, uh, picture oh, of the guy's face on it. I'm Fantastic. gonna activate my weapon, mm. and I'm gonna open it. Now your weapon was already. Activated. I really don't like that idea. That makes me super nervous. Sure. Oh, hey, how many sarcophagi can we see? There's a lot. Yeah, there's don't like open one every. Don't like open a single one on both sides. I'm of just the gonna hole. open up one. Are you saying open up all of them? Just no, I said don't open a single yeah, one. Yeah, don't <laughs> open them. Yeah, what if uh, what if it's alive in there and it comes out and it goes, hey, I'm mad because you woke me up. You didn't well, even Well, they're not. trying to convince me not to open a sarcophagi. Yeah. I open so a sarcophagi. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we don't physically try, we just go, what are you doing? You're still doing it. Why no, are you doing stop. that? Stop, wait. Ah, I'm like, oh, shit. You're getting exactly. like, I mean, why would you do that? <laughs> See, this is the reason that you're the party liability. <laughs> Because everything he does is super <laughs> liable. You do just <laughs> makes you all very liable <laughs> to oh, things. Uh, to so. fun and games you and fire just, and death. Just and death. <laughs> death as well. Death is a big one. So you push open the lid of the sarcophagus, lift it up and slam it off, and inside are the mummified remains of a dinosaur headed man. 
dope. I closed the sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what's inside. <laughs> As you are closing the sarcophagus. Nope. <laughs> it begins to move. I closed the sarcophagus first. Yeah, yeah, close it. <laughs> so you finish bad. closing the sarcophagus <laughs> to so hear bad. a light. Tunk. <laughs> just like, and I say, just like we, we try to at which point early. I say, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> and I say, don't Go think back to about sleep. it. Forget about it. Oh, boy. I vote we run down this hall yeah, real fast. Yeah, let's just keep fast. moving. Forget no, anything. Isn't that a dead end? Let's go to the yeah. other way. Is yeah. it a dead end? Absolutely. No, the hallway goes. Yeah, right, we, let's, let's go, go down the hallway. going down the hallway. Let's go. Let's go yeah. down that hallway. The other so the way is hall- a closed door. <laughs> hallway goes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I'm dropping my book. Oh, boy. The hallway goes a decent distance straight ahead before cutting to the right. At which point, uh, you follow it a little longer after that path, and there is a turn to the left or you can continue going forward. You hear the lids of sarcophagi sliding open behind you as you proceed through the tomb. Okay, we don't know that that was me. <laughs> we could. Uh, we don't stuff. have to know. We <laughs> said don't open it. it. That could have been some sort of trap or like that we triggered when we yeah, walked Yeah, but you opened one, opened and now, one. I mean, we yeah, gotta, we gotta blame he something. We didn't push it open. We he have to blame something. Do we want to go straight, or do we want to go left? I'm gonna blame yeah. the, I'm gonna blame the ziggurat. See, I'm saying ziggurat now. I'm gonna blame the ziggurat. I'm blaming the pyramid. I'm Let's go, go left. left. <laughs> I was gonna say straight. <laughs> Let's go left. Let's go left. Majority rules. Majority rules. No, left's more fun. I'm going left. You are going left. Yes. Oh, you sound like you were, like, protesting. No, I really wanted to go straight, but now let's go left. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, sure. It's fine. It's so that you run to the syndrome. left. <laughs> we'll cut it. And we'll come cut it to post. a dead end. <laughs> yeah, sure is. You were in- <laughs> How far down is the dead end? Is, uh, it, is there enough time for us to run back before these super, super dino zombies no, come No, they're running? following you. Are they, How fast? Are we trapped? Not like mummy speed, so not like super fast. Yes or no, are we trapped? <laughs> yeah, you're trapped. Great. All right, well, let's... Uh, you're in I'm, the room and you can hear... I'm panicking gambling. on the walls. No. Do- dog's freaking out. Dog's freaking out. Hates mummies. Uh, dog doesn't hate mummies. Like, so uh, really. I guess I'm just like trying to feel around for any sort of secrets. Any kind of like secret walls yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that, and uh, that I can make me a discern realities roll right, because that's is, what this game calls is. That wisdom. Um, I believe it is wisdom. Yes. To just you know figure out if there's anything in here that can uh, help you escape. All right. Yep. Wisdom. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Got a 12. <laughs> but it's a 13, so. Guess what, guys? I found a secret door. The small, Maybe. If there is one. I know, I hope there is. <laughs> There's not. Dang it. <laughs> the small ritual chamber that you are currently in seems to, in fact, be a dead end. Wait. Right. We're in a ritual chamber. We're in a ritual chamber. I was going to explain it, but you really wanted to look for secret doors. <laughs> I was, I'm panicking. You were amped. That's we're how ready. panicking works. There's a table in here um, uh-huh. and several tools lining the walls, Ooh. which you believe were probably used to make mummies. I want to close. They got those uh, canopic jars Ooh. and the brain hooks and stuff. Yeah, whose idea was it to go left? We should have yeah, gone, we on, should have gone no, straight. No, no. It's might, Britannia again with this stuff. This might work it's out like, okay. Open Beth- the sarcophagus. Isn't name Bethany? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not Bethany. <laughs> All right. Um, well, if we're in here, I can maybe cast some sort of ritual uh-huh. to do bad stuff to mummies. The mummies are coming. They are coming. Um, I have a question. Uh-huh. Yes. Do we see any, like, garments? Or clothes. There's wrappings. There are mummy wrappings. Uh huh. Do you want to disguise as um, a like mummy? A, like a some sort of like like clothesline. I, I like don't really that know idea. how they stored mummy wrappings. <laughs> I really like if that. If we idea. disguise ourselves as mummies and then pretend we're in the mummies. Yes. What I think we should do. But it's really is dark up against and we can't the wall, see. And so they, they can't come see. in and we can well, be kind of just. Kinda put out your can. Okay, let's dress ourselves up as Push. mummies and then put out the cantrips. Yeah. yeah. And then. And then we'll like walk past and we'll be like, they went that way. What about my wolf? Uh, so you're gonna Scooby Do it. Well, let's mummy my wolf. Scooby Do it. Let's mummy the wolf. Forget yeah. combat. Scooby Do. Scooby Do. It works great for them. Well, we can still do combat. We'll just be dressed as mummies. It works, still do combat. We'll be dressed as mummies. <laughs> it works good for Shaggy and Scooby until like the real mummy steps on their mummy wrapping and oh. it pulls it all off. And then they become cowards again. And they're like, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> zoinks. <laughs> yeah, zoinks. And they have to run away. Yeah. Okay, so make me defy danger rolls using your intelligence. Scrolls. I feel like we're not using our intelligence. Okay, interesting. 
That's pretty good. You look like a proper mummy. Uh oh. I got a ten. I got a seven. Ooh. Oh, an eight. Sorry. You're gonna have Jeez. to make an ugly choice. Okay. An <laughs> ugly choice. So the two of you do up some really fine work. With, you do some really fine work with your mummy costumes. Todd. Uh oh. You half assed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's a mummy costume. How do you? How does it look yeah. bad? <laughs> Yeah, half assed it. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe you know, that's the, good. Uh, maybe you guys look too just, good. The rap, they, yeah, they, just compared to them standing next to them, you're just very unconvincing. Because uh, they did such a bang up job. I mean, you're trying to make a mummy costume. Well, can you guys, can, can't can't you guys kind of like room. tone it down a little bit? Uh-huh. Maybe I'll look better that way. <laughs> <laughs> so do you begin walking down the hall into the crowd of we, mummies? Oh, oh by the way, there there's, a, like there's a real bad mummies. looking mummy wolf following us also. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. first things I first, first think of that. I think we should wait for all of the mummies. We should put out the cantrips. <laughs> yes, lights okay. out. Cantrips out. I can't we see should pitch wait black. at the sides of the door. Just like wait for all the mummies to come just in. Burn this place down. And then when they're all in it's and fumbling rat. around Can't looking for it? us. Yeah, but we, there's probably. Some and we'll also stuff in act like. Where'd they go? Yeah. <laughs> we will so I then exit. Let's take position this on the wall. This is the plan. Yeah, I, see, yeah. that was my idea yeah. before, but then I kind of was like, that's All stupid. Right. No, let's so do it. So you have your costumes. Yeah. So now make me defy danger intelligence rolls. See how convincing you're at. Or no, make it charisma. You're acting. Make it charisma. You've got to have the acting chops of a real mummy. I got a nine. <laughs> I got a six. I got an eight. I actually Ooh. got a ten, but I have eight charisma, so I have a negative one modifier. I was just like, come so on. So what'd you get? I got a nine. You got a nine. I got a six. You, you, you I'm, a, I'm the worst mummy. You're a terrible mummy. You're apparently uh, really bad at I this. I mean, I was born this so way. So you two, you're all good. Okay. But you can tell. I'm kind of like, oh, want a piece of Todd. I'm a mummy. Oh, oh. No. The mummies are not buying it, Todd. Right, Dang, well. Todd. So now you have to make an ugly choice. Great. I mean, I guess it's not that ugly. The choice is basically, do you leave Todd to get eaten by mummies? No. Or do you bail on him? We don't leave Todd to get eaten by mummies. Because you'll get found out if you save him from the mummies. And yeah, but I think we stand a better chance with the three of us mummy than with me. How many mummies are there? How many mummies? How many mummies? How many mummies? How many mummies? mummies? Nobody asked me, so I didn't say. I just said many. Yes. There are seven mummies. There are oh, that's seven not so mummies. bad. Seven. Um, <laughs> I've seen worse. Come on, guys. That's the that's mummies are in dead. <laughs> They are, so I presumably. Mean, it's like rule of. All right, I'm gonna activate my weapon and charge into the mummies to keep okay. them from attacking. Yeah, yeah. that's a surprise attack. All right, so, yeah, you uh, two, you two can get the drop on the mummies. Okay. For sure, because yeah. they they think you're just you know one of them. Sounds good. So you two can go ahead and make some attacks on these mummies right now. If all you right. Like. Okay. So I'm gonna make attack on I guess the mummy that's that's I guess farthest in the back. Because I'm like, I'm a, it's a surprise attack. Yeah, you're coming from behind. Yeah, I'm coming from behind. Coming, yeah, you're, you're Do we get a bonus? You're getting a little pincer attack there. Do we get a bonus for the, for, for, the, for the surprise behind surprise? Yeah, maybe. See what you roll first. <laughs> OK. Um, so this is a uh, hack and slash roll, which uses your strength. Intelligence. It's, oh, for your class. Yeah. That's right. That's <laughs> special. That's pretty neat. Uh, Betanya. I'm going to cast magic missile. OK, you're using a spell here. I'm a wizard. I was, was going to ask, are you attacking or are you using a spell? I'm using a spell. I got a nine. You got a nine? Yeah. Okay. I got a seven. Okay. So I'll either draw unwelcome attention, disturb the fabric of reality, or forget it. What? what would you like to do? Draw unwelcome attention. All right. Yeah, we already. I mean, you're basically. I mean, I already, already did that. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't that bad of a choice. I'm, I'm really good at that. All right. So roll, uh, roll up some damage for the uh, mummy you're attacking with your uh, magic missile, and you, uh, Davis, uh, Dula, Dula, Fula, Dula, Dula, Fula, uh-huh. can go right ahead and do that as well. Okay. Uh, and I have plus one damage. I rolled four. Weapon. Four. Do we have? Okay. There, pew pew. There it is. One of the mummy's arms falls off. Awesome! That's you did a good job. <laughs> so now it's just... Uh, it's in my hand. <laughs> I guess that's how that worked. I got a six. You got a six? Yeah. For damage? Yeah, five right. plus one is six. You slash mm-hmm. into the mummy uh, with your flaming sword. Yes. And he is set alight. Oh, dope. Because, you know, 
Mummies are flammable. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to have a bad time. You bring fire into this whole equation. Yeah. <laughs> in <laughs> retrospect, like, why do they make mummies the main enemy in this area? That's what I, I thought. <laughs> I was like, I was like the mummies, this is a big deal. I just figure I could probably kill like a bunch of mummies. <laughs> I just figure everybody really likes mummies, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right? We were just fans? talking about mummies. Oh, we were just talking about I'm Friend Embrasure earlier, and he's Friend Embrasure, yeah, and he was in the Mummy movie. So he was yeah. in the Mummy movies. Yeah, you keep it in mind. Yep. Keep in mind. You'll have your chance to make more. I know. I'm trying to. If you really want to keep the Brandon Fraser going. <laughs> I was thinking about Under Wraps. So two of oh, the mummies have been too. wounded. Earlier. One of them is on fire, and I guess screaming. Mummies go like. So he's kind of just doing that. Are mummies afraid of fire? These like Frankenstein's? Are. Depends on the, 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 the mummy lore you ascribe to. What's, and under wraps, which mummy he was, lore do and you under wraps, to? he was very afraid of fire. These yeah. mummies, it, yeah, <laughs> under wraps, everybody's favorite Disney TV movie. It's my favorite DC TV movie. <laughs> it's yeah, not I mine. love DC TV's movies. DC TV. Disney TV. So, yeah, the one that is on fire one. is uh, quickly, burning uh, quickly burning up. Doesn't seem like he likes it. So, you're guessing these are, in fact, the mummies, the kind of mummies that. Don't like fire. Not fans of fire. Awesome. Yeah. So that's a good advantage. You yeah. Got there. All right. Got there. Uh, Todd, um, you may roll initiative. Everyone should roll initiative now that we're going into like actual combat. All right. We've got the surprise round over with. How do we do that? We've got to battle a I'm bunch of mummies. Asked. Is that two d six plus dexterity? Um. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. That's how I'm Great. gonna be doing it. Rules for rules for who goes first in Dungeon World are sort of. Effie. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of do it. Like, so I, this is just how I'm going to do it. Okay. Yeah. What do you got? Eight. Yeah, I got okay. Uh, what do you got, Todd? S seven. What do you got? Also an eight. Everybody's doing great. Except for Todd. <laughs> Except for Todd. <laughs> Todd was doing okay for but a minute. You're all more agile than mummies. <laughs> and that's, that's what good. counts. That's good. <laughs> that's what's important in this situation. That's really great. It's awesome. So you eight folks. Uh, who has the higher dexterity score? What are your dexterity scores? Fifteen. Fifteen? Nine. Ha. She's got you beat. So Shut up. Go right ahead and ask once fault. more. Do with these mummies. I'm a magic missile. First you want to go left. First you want to open the door. Oh. I think you did it. Oh, hi. That, that works. Oh, wow. That's a 12. That's as high as it gets. You're hitting that guy no problem. Oh, yeah. I hit him for five. All right, you blow up that mummy. <laughs> The mummy explodes in a shower of dust. Mummy dust. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Some sort of yeah, mummy dust. Know. It's like the Fourth of July. <laughs> and these uh, these mummies have dinosaur heads, right? They do. Great. <laughs> Two mummies down. <laughs> Just <jumping>. five to go. <laughs> Don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Duel on. I'm gonna move on to the next mummy. You gonna set the next mummy on fire? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. go, let's move on and just do another. Just okay. like hit one, next one. <laughs> All right. As you were doing this, the first mummy you yeah. hit, uh, like he, he he's burning up. He's yeah. falling apart. <laughs> Turning into a little pile of burnt mummy. Okay. Mm. So you're probably yeah. You're not gonna have to worry about him. Yeah. Next one's up. Make me that hack and slash roll. I got a twelve. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> a twelve. Uh, Great. So I roll this plus a tell d6. Me, tell me how dead the mummy is. It's a hack and slash, right? Um, you can either <laughs> choose to uh, not be attacked back by the mummy, um, and add the, uh, or you can choose to take an attack from the mummy as well, but deal an extra d6 damage. I'm gonna deal an extra d6 damage. Okay, that means the mummy gets a chance to hit you too. Yes, yeah. if he doesn't die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he took uh, eight and five, so That's twelve. Damage. The mummy nice. is dead. <laughs> <laughs> the mummy was excited for a second. He was really hyped because he saw his opening. He went for it. And he watched it close. <laughs> and he died. <laughs> so this is happy. something about when one door opens <laughs> and the, when one door closes. And right the up until the very end there. Except backwards. Right up until the very end. He was, he was feeling good about it. <laughs> he was like, ah, oh, an four, opening to attack. There's four mummies oh, left. Dead. Okay. That's how mummies <laughs> think. <laughs> okay. Seeing you as a huge threat. <laughs> Two of the mummies whip everybody. out their toilet paper strands, <laughs> because that's the best technical term I can come up with for mummy wrapping. Whip out? Whip attacks. <laughs> toilet paper And attempt strands. to grapple you. Ooh. Make me a defy danger, strength or dexterity, depending on whether you just want to like break these these toilet paper wrappings. I think I'm going to do strength. Or Yo. like dodge out of the way. I'm going to do strength. You're going to do strength? I'm going to do strength. All right. 
Are you? I suppose. Mm. Looks cooler. Are you going to do dex or strength? I got an 11. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, he's killing it. Smokey's going to have to get a really good roll. <laughs> was the first one already Well, because it's not even an 11. Ah. Oh yeah, it is an 11, huh? Is your tiebreaker? <laughs> really? Oh. Tiebreaker? You just rolled an 11. <laughs> Let's see. What's your, what's your you're using strength, right? Yeah, yeah my strength. What is, is a, what is your strength? Score? Eleven. It, your strength score is eleven. Yeah. All right. So the mummy actually has a higher strength score than you. Okay. So that'll act as Loads. our tiebreaker. Okay. So you've been mummy wrapped. Okay. So you've you're been wrapped now. up in in <laughs> in their mummy. How flammable is this mummy wrap? Ooh. Probably pretty flammable. Okay. <laughs> but it is going to constrict you. Because I currently have a flaming sword in my hand. Yeah. It's going to constrict you for three points of damage. Okay. Before you can just you know burn it apart. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. So there are two mummies on him right now. There are two mummies two. on him. There's one mummy on each of you. One mummy shambles over to you and just tries to give you a mummy slap. Ooh, mummy better watch out. So the mummy has hit you, <gasps> but you have the option of attacking him back. I would like to take that option. All right, go for it. All right. Can I use magic? No. You gotta do an attack. You have to punch it. All right. Uh, that's plus what modifier? Strength. Strength. That's yeah, that's a, attack. that's a four. It's a four? All right. Yeah, you know, you're, you're boop, getting boop. around that mummy. Ah. So the mummy. <laughs> Man. Slaps you for four damage. <laughs> the 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 main method of attack for mummy is very rude. Slapping. It's very oh, rude. that is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a real rough time. Um, and Todd, you are being attacked by a mummy. I, I'm well. going last. This uh this mummy is gonna bite you How is with his happening? dinosaur face. How is this happening? Um, this mummy got a ten. Yeah. Oh. So he's gonna deal like, a whole bunch like of damage him. to you. Oh, he's got he's you, and there. he's not gonna let you attack him. You take four damage from a mummy bite. That's not so bad. A mummy bite and a mummy slap are the same amount of damage. Yes. But that's only because I rolled it. How, how many mummies are left? Four? Four mummies. Four mummies. How many mummies? Todd. Todd <laughs> and his faithful companion, EP. <sighs> it's your turn to deal with these mummies. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack them with my sword. All right. Good that's what's gonna on. happen. Which one do you attack? The one that is attacking me. Okay. Yes. Go for it. Uh, four. Mm. Cool. <laughs> you messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Great. The mummy grabs your sword and somehow wrestles it out of your hand. Whoa. All right, fantastic. Now that mummy is wielding a sword. Great. <laughs> Watch yourselves. <laughs> Great. Uh, great work. Great work. <laughs> um, uh, there really is no uh, god Betania, in this world. Huh? It's now your turn. I'm One gonna, of the mummies has a sword. Yeah, I'm not going to hit that mummy. Okay. I'm going to stick with the mummies I know. The, the one that's right in front of you? Yes. All right. And I am gonna use magic. And that's. <laughs> so, Lee, you succeeded. It's a seven. Seven? Yes. Okay. Is this magic missile again? Yes. All right. Um, do you wanna lose the spell, disturb the fabric of reality, or draw unwanted attention? I'm really curious about this disturbing. I'm gonna say you, you can't draw unwanted attention because. No. I was actually gonna say I wanna disturb the fabric of reality. And that means I take minus one on going to cast a spell until I prepare spells again. Okay. But also it sounds cool. Okay. That sounds very Not cool. Not when I say all of it. The fabric of reality has been disturbed. Yes. We'll see the results of that at some point. <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe that sword disappears. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of sword, but sword at least that mummy doesn't like have any mummies maybe just disappear as well. Your wolf turns into a beaver. I don't want that to happen. That well, you don't control That ruins the whole EP joke. I don't like that idea at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Cool. Oh, but that um, means... You do get to roll damage, however. That's yes. what I was just thinking. You did get hurt. Uh, six. Six damage? Yes. That's one dead mummy. Hey! Three mummies left, folks. <laughs> Bye, mummy. Three mummies left. Dula. You are being constricted. I'm going to try and kill the mummy that has a sword. Okay. But you're constricted. You're, you're constricted, though. Okay. I Did you not hear that part? <laughs> my my sword is throwable. How do you oh. throw it when you can't move your arms? You just go like this. You just all in the wrist. <laughs> you it doesn't little, actually have weight. A little underhand. You're like bowling. It doesn't it. have yeah. weight. It's fire. Mm. <laughs> you make a compelling argument. <laughs> 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 like, make me an attack roll. <laughs> underhand. <laughs> 
I get a seven. It's a seven? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Fair. So that mummy gives you a nasty squeeze mm -hmm. in an attempt to stop you from throwing your flaming sword at, uh -huh. uh, at him. So you take another two points of damage, <laughs> but your flaming sword hits its mark. Okay. Roll that damage. <laughs> It gently, it gently <laughs> twirls through the air <laughs> and kind of just whacks him on the head. It just hits him enough. I mean, it only needs to touch him. Yeah. I got a nine. You got a nine? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hop off the mummy's head. It's real bad. <laughs> it's real bad. <laughs> Was that sword mummy? The mummy friend. No. Was the it? friend of that mummy, I should say. Okay. He's enraged at the death <laughs> of his pal. So he's gonna run up, he's gonna give you a slap as I drop my die on the ground. Mommy slap. Roll. He hit slap. you real good. Oh, he slapped you for two damage. So I guess he didn't hit you real good. <laughs> Thought he was gonna. He was blinded by rage. Yeah, he couldn't handle it. Mommy and the rage. mummy with a sword mm -hmm. is gonna attack you with your own sword. <laughs> nice. He did a great job. Oh, of course he no. did, didn't he? So you can attack him back if you want. Well, I guess like a with punch. my hand. I suppose. I don't even know what that damage oh, is going to be. Your wolf get a D4. I don't know how I was going to bring that up, but I have no idea. Type. Your damage is done by die type. So I'm going to say just drop the die type by one. Okay. So you have like you do. A D8, I have a D8, so, so D6. do D6. Yeah. All right. How about uh, a six? A six. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't, no, that doesn't good, work. Great. You gotta get at least seven. Great. The mummy, however, hits you for eight damage with your own Ew. sword. Great. He's the real hero here. How you doing, <laughs> and buddy? And now it's your turn. I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah, so as a command, instead of like hack and slash, you can do that. But it... <sighs> no, that's okay. We'll, we'll talk about it after. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Oh. Get your revenge. Can I, uh, <laughs> can I try and... Uh, Finagle my sword back from him. Just give it, give if it you back want to me. To. Give it back to me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this might not go so well for me, guys. D uh, do make it make it a uh, just make it a strength roll. Yeah. You're defying danger. Great. To grab your sword. It's really been working out for me so far. Super <laughs> well. Yeah, not good. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Are you gonna die, Todd? I think I might die. You take a point of damage because you cut your hands on the blade. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you go to grab and just grab the blade. It isn't working out. But Tanya, please save Todd. Oh. <laughs> he needs help desperately. Yeah, I Tanya really do. <laughs> he ain't getting it from me. Oh man, I'm All just. Right. Yeah, girl, that's a four. You weren't paying attention. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Um, you wanna? I believe that means you lose the spell. Oh, I think that does mean I lose yeah. this. What? I believe that means you lose the spell. It's a you rolled less than seven. That's Unless it's a cantrip. It's not a cantrip. Yeah, That's what I was spell. thinking. It's an actual spell. Uh, Dula, Man. would you like to save Todd? Please save me. Yeah. Uh, would you like to make up for your status as a liability and be the real hero like you have been doing now? He's just going to kill me right now. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to have to actually roll to activate my weapon again. And then do it. We'll do it. It's just a... Go for it. So. We need it right now. Yeah, I'm... Gonna die. I got a seven. You're good. <laughs> so I barely did it. That you was barely close. did it. Um, right, so it's a sword. It's dangerous. It's, well, do something about uh, it. Plus one damage, and it's just thrown again. So I didn't ask for your life story. Sweet, so you're gonna throw it. He's, gonna, he's throwing it. So let's I'm, see. Gonna, I'm gonna go and let's kill the mummy. Okay, I'm gonna attempt it. to hack at the mummy. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Uh, it's a 12. Yay! <laughs> mommy will take an extra D6 That's really of good. damage. That's real good. Yeah. <laughs> that mommy's pretty dead. I'm just going to assume. Yes. <laughs> All right. You opened yourself 13. up for attack by taking the extra damage. He didn't do anything, though. So, yeah, that mummy's super dead. <laughs> so, having destroyed the threat of these mummies, you feel that you are probably now able to explore these tombs more leisurely. However, that will happen on the next episode of Dank Dungeons, as our time is more than up. Because, man, that mummy encounter got heated. <laughs> so, oh. thank you. Oh! Because uh, it was on sorts. fire. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys. So, <laughs> you guys get thank you, everyone who uh, tuned in, everybody who's watched this. Um, <laughs> we really appreciate it. Um, there's more episodes on the way. We're going to try and shoot for about an hour each. Maybe next time we'll actually come in at about that time instead of going out. But um, Yeah, come on, Todd. Yeah, start somewhere. <laughs> um, you can check us out on Facebook. You can check us out on Twitter. Um, and you'll be able to check us out on YouTube as well. Mm. Um, and uh, NCTV also. 
Uh, it's Northampton Community Television. They've been kind enough, enough to let us use their equipment uh, to record this, um, and they will continue to do so, I hope. Because <laughs> otherwise, there won't be a show. <laughs> we'll find out next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching Dank Dungeons. I've been your Dank Master, Dan. These have been the lovely Lizzie, uh, Lance, and Davis. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time.